Okay, the next one is we construct the total response based on the equation of y n equal to homogeneous solution y h n plus particular solution y p n based on the equation that we solved previously. So we have this one from homogeneous equation and this one from particular solution. The next one is to find the auxiliary condition y0 and y1. So we reconsider the this system difference equation uh, from the uh, question, which is we have this one. Okay, the next one, we determine this equation for n equal to 0. So we plug in n equal to 0 in this equation. Uh, equation so we have this one okay please remember that we also have the initial condition given in the question for y minus 1 equal to 1 and y minus 2 equal to 1 so we use in this condition to solve y0 in this case we have 5 over 3 for y0 so we repeat the same technique for n equal to 1 so n equal to 1 in this equation so this is the current equation and then for y0 we have this value for y negative 1 we have the, uh, the value of y negative 1 in the question given which is equal to 1 now we can solve for y1 which is equal to 38 over 9 so based on this auxiliary condition that we just determined, y0 equal to 5 over 3 and y1 equal to 38 over 9, together with this total response equation, we can use it together, together to determine A and B. So for y0 and equal to 0, we use in the total response previously, this is n equal to 0, which is equal to the y0 equal to 5 over 3. And the next equation we construct based on y1, n equal to 1, okay, n equal to 1, which is equal to 38.9. Then we use this equation to solve a equal to 2 over 5 and b equal to minus 1 over 12 using simultaneous equation. Therefore, we can construct our total response. This is from the homogeneous solution and this is from the particular solution. So, our total response is this one. This is A, this is B and this is C multiplied with U and U N is a step function for N equal to and larger than 0 is equal to 1.